Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. This is my little warmies koala. You put him in the microwave and it heats up and it smells like lavender. But he likes to keep me company when I'm on my period and I have cramps and he keeps my stomach warm. <laughs> he or she, I think it's a he, I don't know. It's cute. Anyway, I've been really feeling a full out self-care day and some of my followers have also requested a self-care day it's like particularly if you're having a bad day for whatever reason so if you're like in your luteal phase and you just need some things to do or you want to take a whole day and just like pamper yourself or if you're on your period or if you're feeling a little bit sick and under the weather whether you're overrun you're feeling burnt out whatever this is a video for you but also i think everybody needs to do a little bit of self-care and rest is productive so if you're not taking time to actually rest you are going to get run down or burnt out or sick so let's all just do a couple of things today together i made a list which i'll put on the screen that i thought would be the ultimate self-care that would ultimately make me feel better that would make me feel good about myself this is not just about laying on the couch all day it's more about taking care of yourself in order to feel better when you're feeling like crap. So if you resonate with any of these or you feel like these would also make you feel better, um, let me know. And I'm going to post this list on my Instagram too, so you can like take this list for yourself. But yeah, welcome to a self-care day. I started the morning off of my phone reading my book, The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. It is so good. I just have like a chapter left. I'm almost done with it. It's about this girl who grows up and her family are morticians. So her dad owns a funeral home while her family owns a funeral home and she grows up and she can see ghosts and so can her dad. But um, she like gets made fun of and stuff and she moves away to New York City and she becomes a writer, a ghost writer actually. But then when she has to come back home for her dad's funeral, she meets a ghost and she kind of falls in love with him so it's really good and it has a happy ending so i also decided to do a little bit of hydrating before having my morning coffee so i have a glass of water with a half of an electrolyte packet you could also do a tea you could do a hot water and lemon or you could just do water or you could just do coffee or greens you know but i'm trying to like not have a dopamine rush right off the bat and then be like craving dopamine all morning i think that's what happens so yeah that's the start of our morning before i have my coffee I'm trying to give it like 30 minutes before i have coffee now that i have my coffee i'm gonna take some time to do a little bit of journaling I am not a good journaler. I have always wanted to be a journaler and I just, I hate writing with my hand, first of all. And I just, I don't know, I just don't have the discipline to stop and take the time to journal. But if you didn't know, if you have an iPhone, there's this app that comes with your with a new update called Journal. And it is super, super cool and intuitive. And since your phone like tracks everywhere you go, You'll get like a prompt notification that will pop up on your home screen and, screen and be like, you went to a new bookstore today. Take some time to journal about it. And I want to get better about whenever those prompts pop up, like taking a little bit of time to jot it down because it makes it so easy and you don't have to write with a pencil. <laughs> And it just has a lot of prompts and I've literally written in it one time this year. Oh my God, that's so bad. Okay, how do I find more prompts? You can also like pull up photos. So let's say I'm gonna write about my trip to Oregon and it literally has like little, it's already categorized things for me. So trip to Oregon, it has all the photos in a, 
album and then I went to a Cardinals practice that has all the photos and videos in an album. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna click this Oregon trip one with the photos and open that up. And it auto populates with the photos and my location and like my movement stuff. That is so cool. All right, and it just says, recall a recent trip to a new place or even a familiar place. What did you appreciate about it? It's so simple. your journal and then you go to like recent you can scroll down it literally every single day has several prompts for you to use like this is what you listen to on august 8th um i even scrolled down like this is who you you connected with because i like was texting my cousin a week or two ago this is what you were do this is where you were when you took this picture or like you did yoga at this gym on this day write about it. You did an outdoor walk to this song on this day. It's really cool. I'm gonna start using it more. Okay, the next part of our day is we're going to slow down, put on some music or a podcast. I put on some spa music. <laughs> it's a little bit um, extra but I just wanna be mindful and do extra skincare because I think being able to slow down and take time for yourself is a huge form of self-care because a lot of times we just don't make time for ourselves. We don't feel like we are worthy of the extra time because we're doing so much for everyone else. And I think doing things like your skincare or putting on a cute outfit, doing your makeup, getting your hair done, getting getting your nails done, all those things we are worthy of. And a lot of times we feel like we're not, if that makes sense. Like when I first got Willow, I really stopped taking care of myself. I was like, you know, ev everything I spend my money on needs to be for Willow. Everything that I do needs to be for Willow. I even would like guilt trip myself when I left the house and left her alone. And in that whole time, I started losing my own confidence. And that's because I literally, I stopped doing my hair. I stopped buying clothes for myself. I never took care of myself in the way that I was used to doing. And so now I try to find a good balance of those things instead of just like not doing anything for myself. I think taking the time for yourself is very important. It just shows you it's self-love like i'm giving myself some love i'm taking the time i'm doing a little spa day i'm going to like do some extra extra stuff i'm gonna do some eye patches and a face mask just because it's fun you know and then my face will feel good my body will feel good these eye masks are from the brand pixie you can get them at target and these are the toning eye patches so like they tighten and help get rid of dark spots or the under eye bags or whatever and they're cute they help reduce any fine lines and I really don't use them that often because I don't ever give myself the time I don't allow myself to take the time also want to do a fun face mask I think I have a like clay mask somewhere. I'm digging through my little spa drawers that I have. I got these little like mask tools. So I'm gonna do this clay mask. I think you just do half parts clay and water. 
and I have this little tool to apply it. This Aztec clay mask from Amazon, you can get it at other places. I think they have it at like Ulta and stuff. Literally so good. I get the nose. Definitely recommend these tools. It just made this mask so much easier. I think I'm gonna do it more often now because it used to be such a pain and it's making it so fun. Okay, now we wait for it to harden. My face is gonna go. It's gonna tighten and then rinse it off. Okay, look at my face. Look at my nostrils. It's so tight that it's pulling like, I have a nose job right now. My nose is so skinny. It says not to leave it on for more than 10 minutes, so I'm gonna take it off now. How do my eyes look? Feeling good. My, my skin feels so scaly. Oh, it feels so good to get it off, though. Should do a little rinse. Oh, my skin feels so soft. My skin has been like kind of having a moment again. It's looking a little like I don't like it to look. It started after I did this laser treatment that's supposed to bring out like the hyperpigmentation on your skin and it just <laughs> I think I need to get a, a peel, a chemical peel. I'm gonna put on some light makeup in a cute outfit just because again I want to feel good about myself today so I always feel better and just more ready to do something possibly or more likely to go out and do something or to record something on my phone or whatever if I just have a little bit of makeup on I love this Ilia super serum skin tint i've been using it for like two years it's my favorite base makeup i don't wear foundation i just put this on blend it out it has spf in it it has niacinamide squalene hyaluronic acid oh it doesn't clog your pores it's hydrating you know it just makes my skin tone look more even and less red I don't know if I really want any bronzer. Let's do a little bit, I guess. A light. Blush is my main product. I'll do some on my nose. It's like a naturally sunburn. Been out in the sun, but I'm not wearing any makeup. <laughs> Look. Curl my eyelashes and that's it. Putting this headband in my hair really screws it up though. Okay, let's go put on a cute outfit. Aerie sent me some stuff and obviously Aerie equals cozy AF. Um, they sent me these pants, actually I think they're pajamas, but they're so cute. And I think pajama bottoms are kind of in style like to wear out of the house. Another form of my period self-care are period underwear, which I am currently wearing. They are super soft, super cute. They're from Salt and I just don't want to put a tampon in. Like I'm hanging out at home, these are comfy, doesn't make me have any cramps or anything. And I wear them to bed, I'll wear them all day if I'm not doing anything. And I have a discount code now too. I'll put the link in my bio, but I'm pretty sure the discount code is Devin, just my name. And then you get 15% off your order. I really, really recommend them. They are so comfy. They come in so many different styles depending on what cycle you're on in your period. I mean, not cycle, what phase you are in your period. So like on the light days, they have 
thongs on the heavy days. They have like, I mean, they have like heavy, really heavy, extremely heavy, and you can like, you don't feel, it doesn't feel gross. You don't feel the blood because it's absorbing it. And then once it stops absorbing it, that's when it's full. And then you're like, oh, I can feel it now. So that's when you just change them. These pants are so cute. Also got this little cardigan, which I'm gonna put over, even though it's kind of hot out. So I'll probably end up taking it off, but I'm gonna put it on for now. Oh my gosh, there's little thumb holes in it. Obsessed. And now I just feel cute and pulled together. And it just makes me feel happy putting on a cute outfit. It makes me feel good. I didn't put this on the list, but another very important self-care thing to do throughout the day, every day, is to get in puppy cuddles when you can. So I'm going to do that right now. And Willow's probably going to get annoyed and she's going to get up and move, but... Oh. Sweet baby, I love you. I'm here in the way. Let me snuggles. She's such a good girl. I love you. I love you. If you get them too hyped up, though, they're going to want to go grab their toy and play. Huh. Is right there. <laughs> okay, another thing on the self care list is to do one thing that makes you feel accomplished. Do one thing on your to do list. And I put that on there because for me, a lot of times I start feeling really bad about myself if I don't accomplish something productive basically so let's say you have some running to-do list of something that you're just putting off or that you just have been needing to get done or something that you just need to get done today to make yourself feel accomplished today even if you're allowing yourself to take the day off what do you need to do that makes you feel accomplished that could be like vacuuming and mopping that could be cleaning up the kitchen that could be running an errand to drop something off at ups um for me, a couple of things that I need to do that I've been putting off, I need to, well, first I'm gonna post on Instagram because I haven't yet today and that will make me feel better about myself if I just post something. But another like more realistic example is I need to measure my sister's bedroom window because we need to get her some new blinds. Cause she has like, she doesn't have blinds like I have throughout the rest of the house. She has like these fabric things their fabric and anyways her cat peed on them <laughs> so her room just reeks of pee so i need to get her new window coverings for her room and it's just like so easy to do but i just keep putting off like i just need to get the tape measure in there and measure how big it is and then order some simple blinds from amazon or something so i feel like if i do that get that done then i will feel I'll be feeling good. I'll be feeling accomplished. It's just like a random thing that I keep putting off that I know I'm gonna feel better after it's done. But first I'm gonna post on Instagram really quickly. Hey babies. Okay, so I'm looking at getting her blinds just like this. That's what we have throughout the rest of the house right now. She just needs something different. I don't want to pay a bunch of money for it right now. Um, so I'm going to go measure her. I don't know if I'm going to show you her room because it's probably looks like a tornado hit it. But I need a tape measure. My cat always gets this closet open and knocks shit down off the shelves and then I can't freaking open it because there's stuff in the way. Charlie. God, I feel like he repeatedly pees here. Okay, so the width. Okay. 
If you can't see anything, good. 46 by 58. Okay, I didn't order the blinds yet, but I will. But it is almost two o'clock and I'm hungry and another big part of feeling good about myself when I'm in a bad mood is getting out of the house, unfortunately. Whether that be going to a workout class, taking Willow to the park is always one of my favorite things, but unfortunately it is so hot outside that me and Willow can't go to the park. But I was thinking what something I could do, like the other day when I was in the midst of my really bad PMSing, I was just, everything was so irritating to me and I was just in such a bad mood. And I just ran to the grocery store to get a bottle of wine because I was like, I need some wine. Um, don't recommend drinking wine when you're in a bad mood. That's probably not a good habit. I'm not promoting or endorsing that. But getting out of the house, going somewhere, driving in my car, walking around, getting some sunshine, even though it's really hot, it made me feel drastically better. So I was like, that needs to be on the list. Getting out of the house always makes me feel better, even though it's kind of feels like pulling teeth to get out of the house. Sometimes I'm just like, I get in this phase of or this like, I get frozen in overwhelm and I just sit and I'll just keep opening like my apps, my social media apps. Oh my God, like I'm gonna get in a bad mood just thinking about it. I hate how I do that. I'll just keep putting off things. I'm not productive. See how easily I get worked up about this. Um, so I decided I'm gonna go grab myself some lunch. So I'm gonna drive over to like, I'm gonna go get Pita Jungle gonna drive down there pick up a to-go order and bring it back home so let's go do that actually I'm probably gonna change and then I'll put this back on when I get home because it's really hot outside and I don't want to look well I don't want to sweat my ass off and I don't want to look like an idiot when I'm running in to get Pita Jungle <laughs> changed up my outfit. I actually think this is super cute. I think I'm gonna just keep this on. That was so quick. Now I'm like, I don't want to go home. What else can I do? The weather is like slightly nicer than normal. Like as you can see, there's a breeze. It's been raining a lot lately. spend a little bit of time. I have like 10 minutes left in my book. I need to finish this book. Eight minutes. I'm going to finish it. But also I got distracted by TikTok and I realized that my favorite TikToker has been posting for over a month. She like took a break and I just went to check to see if she posted anything new. She's literally been posting for the past month. So I'm catching up on all her videos. It's Samantha Jo. I love her. I think she's so funny and entertaining and She's one of the people who I check their TikTok and watch their vlogs because I find them so entertaining. The other only person that I do that with is Avery Woods. I don't know why I find her so entertaining. Also, I want to be her. Yeah. Avery, I live in Phoenix too. Let's be friends. Um, oh, but I did want to say, as far as self-care days go for you, I just want these little ideas that I'm doing, these little things that I'm doing to just be ideas for you. To add to your routine, I think that you should make a list, like I have, of things that will make you feel better when 
you're not feeling so hot when you're not feeling like yourself i just think like the things that you do aren't going to be right for every situation in which you need a little bit of self-care or you need a little pick-me-up or a mood booster or whatever if you're on your period and you're having cramps and you're just feeling like bad i literally recommend sitting on the couch all day close all your windows watch a good tv show order in a yummy treat like i don't think you need to leave your house in that situation maybe what you really need is to put throw your phone hide your phone sit on the couch rest all day long side note you know how like the macbook computer chargers when it's plugged in it gets really warm look who's enjoying the warm charger <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's depending on how, if you are actually sick, you don't need to get out of the house and exercise and whatnot. But this is kind of like a, I need to get out of a bad mood. I need to be happy. I need to do things for myself that are going to make me feel better type thing. So yeah, just wanted to remind you of that. Also, one thing that's on my list that I kind of have to get better at doing and kind of just like I'm going to be doing throughout the whole day is saying affirmations or just reminding myself that I'm doing good. I'm doing a good job. I am allowed to take a break. I am doing enough. And basically whenever my mind starts running with like, I suck, I'm not doing enough, I'm comparing myself to other people, I should be working harder, I should be focusing more, I should be putting out more content. Yeah, whenever my head starts going crazy like that, I need to stop those thoughts and I need to replace them with, you're doing great, you're doing enough. Everything that you want for your life will come eventually and enjoy the journey. That's the best part. Finish your freaking book, watch those TikToks that you want to watch, and then move on. This works together. Also, I'm the type of person who wants, I don't know, I, I push myself because I don't even know what I'm saying. I want to be like a sec successful content creator. I want to be, I feel like I get validation when brands wanna work with me or people wanna interview me or people are talking about me. I feel important that that is what gives me validation and I'm trying to find validation elsewhere like working out or with my friends or just the fact that even if it's not a huge giant group of followers that I have or subscribers that I have like that I'm actually making a difference for people and that I'm helping you guys and that I get to build this community and talk to you and hang out with you getting validation through that versus like getting validation from the brands that want to work with me I'm working on that um <laughs> so anyway Samantha Joe is a content creator that I love and I just watched her pop off on TikTok and then YouTube like she did a 30-day no fast food challenge and she is just a, such a good YouTube editor. She's so funny and her content is just so good. I love it. And she gets such good brand deals and she does such good videos for them. And like, I just love seeing her do stuff. And I also watch her with admiration because I want to be like that one day, but I also watched her get everything that I have wanted and then become so burnt out and so depressed and so anxious about it and it's just kind of a sad reminder that money doesn't buy happiness fame doesn't buy happiness success doesn't buy happiness like in my mind i think that once i have what she has i will be happy but that is not true at all no matter how much how many followers how much success you have that doesn't that doesn't equal happiness it actually can make you a lot more unhappy a lot more anxious a lot more stressed out so just a reminder to myself and everyone else out there to you really have to be present in the moment and like remind yourself to be happy and validate yourself where you are currently <sighs> mother of fuck i wish i would have never I just finished my book finally. It was so good. I gave it four stars. Um, I like her book, The Seven Year Slip, a little bit better. Not really sure why, but I love both of their lead female characters and the male characters. It's so good. Lovely. Great men. <laughs> 
I do not know what I'm gonna read next. I don't really know what I'm in the mood for. Like, should I do something a little bit more dramatic? Maybe, I haven't done that in a while. A thriller, should I do another romantic comedy? I freaking, I don't know. By the way, if you're a reader and TV show watcher and you want to keep up with my recommendations and stuff, just come up. <laughs> come up. <laughs> There's this app called Fable. It's like Goodreads. It's the new version of Goodreads. It's a little bit more hip and updated and you can track and rate your books and TV shows and you can automatically sync your Goodreads to Fable. And also they have half star reviews. So you could give something like three and a half stars, four and a half stars, which is very important to me. And also you can do like join book clubs on there. So if you join my book club on Fable, because we have a book club that I'm taking a break from, but I'm going to pick it back up next month. Um, yeah, it ha it's so cool. It has everything. And my username is Devon and Willow. And you can follow me and see my reviews and stuff. You can like create posts. It's really cool. You can see all the things you've liked. I don't know. It's kind of like a social network for book and TV people. Every time you get on, it asks you, did you read today? And so you can update your progress. And also once you finish a book, it has you like select all of these um, like descriptor words. And I feel like this makes it a lot easier for them to recommend books to you that you would like. And so like describe the characters I did likable language and writing style, easy to read, funny writing, um, plots, addictive, fast paced, suspenseful. Like it, it's, it's just really well thought out. I feel like warnings for others. See, like you can put trigger warnings. Um, yeah. Another thing that I always fall back on when I need a pick me up or I need to get out of my head because that's usually my problem is I'm like too, having too many obsessive mean thoughts about myself or unproductive thoughts that are not helping me in any way, shape or form or beating myself up for not doing enough that day or that week or that month or in my lifetime, not having enough friends, whatever it is that's cycling through my head at the time. I find that doing a cozy craft or hobby makes me, it takes me out of my head. It makes me do something physically with my hands. It gets me off of screens and it has a way of making you feel like you've accomplished something, even though, I mean, you didn't change the world or anything, but you like got something, you created something with your hands. My favorite hobby is personally coloring books because it's like super creative for me and it's like very, um, satisfying to see something be completed and done like how freaking cute is this it's so satisfying so i'm going to start on a new coloring page there's this one page that i really love but i've been like not doing it because i want to save it and because i don't want to ruin it like once i start it like there's no going back where is it isn't this so cute? It's gonna be so cute, but I keep like not doing it because I'm like, I don't wanna ruin it. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna treat myself. And I'm just gonna spend some time coloring. <laughs> I gotta get out of the house 
Uh, I feel like going out to a movie by yourself is a great form of self-care or with a friend. The next thing on my list was actually, sorry, the blinker's on. The next thing on my list was to talk to a friend or family member, like schedule a FaceTime or have like a nice little text chat about something that's going on. Hang on, I have to drive. The thing that always makes me feel better is being able to talk to someone, whether it's my mom or my sisters or Brittany and Maggie from the podcast or just a friend or my cousin. Even if it's not to text them to complain, but like text a friend and just ask how they've been. Always makes me feel less alone. Um, or go to the movie by yourself and you'll be surrounded by people, but you don't have to interact with them and it makes you feel connected in a way. I wanted to see It Ends With Us so badly. Like I, I might go tomorrow morning, like matinee movie. <laughs> I could get like a coffee and then go to the movies. I don't know. Um, because I am a reader, obviously. I loved that book. I don't care if you think Colleen Hoover is trash. She is a great storyteller, a gateway writer. Like she is the reason that I became such an avid reader that I am today. She's the reason my mom became a reader, my sisters became readers, and I've been hearing really good things about the movie. So I definitely want to go see that, but yeah, it was sold out. So that's a good sign. Could not find any times for any of the theaters near me. So we're going to go see Twisters. It is not the same. Of course she does. You have no real power. ball launcher just got home from the movie i wore my glasses to be able to see the movie more clearly just got new ones from pear eyewear and i'm think i'm gonna have a discount code coming soon so stay tuned but i got a icy and then i ate candy and popcorn and I'm actually going to say that that is self-harm, not self-care, because, oh my god, every time I go to the movies, like, I get so excited to eat all that stuff, and I just, like, eat a bunch of sugar and popcorn, and then midway through, I'm like, I feel absolutely disgusting. Like, I just want to throw up or something. I don't know. But I want to color a little bit more. My picture is so cute. And Willow wants to play out here, so I'm gonna play and finish my picture. And maybe watch TV, where's the remote? What color should the mountains be? Like, what color are if you're having a bad day is to buy yourself something. I bought myself a new little workout outfit and it came today, luckily. But it just feels so good, like pressing checkout. It's like a dopamine rush or something. Or adrenaline rush. Aries workout clothes right now are super cute um and they feel like lululemon aligns kind of like thin material very soft the shorts have a little it folds down which is cute and they sent me some stuff for free and i liked it so much that i bought more so i got this little brown workout set i have a pink one now i have brown and then a little short sleeve yeah a little like workout cover-up thing
this like kind of allows me to be cozy but in the winter or I mean in the summer because it has short sleeves isn't it so cute to like throw over a workout set if you're running errands or something I don't know I just thought it was cute also I think I needed to add more to get free shipping or something but it makes me happy and now for like the last major self-care thing we're gonna do is I'm going to take a really hot shower I'm going to exfoliate I'm gonna shave I'm gonna use my body oil I'm gonna wash my bangs Willow's running around <laughs> she got the zoomies Willow come back doing? <laughs> I got all excited all of a sudden. I got all excited. Mwah. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep? Every night, and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of hiding. The last part of a self-care day is setting the coziest environment, whether that be on your couch, in your bed, wherever it is, and just like embracing doing nothing. It's currently 11 o'clock at night for me, so I'm gonna like start going to bed, but I think it's so important to allow yourself to do nothing and be okay with it. And at the end of the day, especially for me, I need to tell myself and reassure myself that I have done enough. Like I had a good day, I did a good job today, tomorrow will be good too. I am pushing forward on all of my goals that I have for myself. I'm doing the best that I can. I just had a moment, like a thought that was like, I'm not actually doing all the things that I should be doing for myself because I'm not trying to date. I continue to put that one off, but I have to remind myself I'm doing the best that I can for myself and tomorrow's a new day and i needed a day to just really take care of myself today i'm trying to decide what the heck i'm gonna read next though it's like there are so many options but what am i in the mood for i even have a bunch of books that i've gotten from my book of the month club that i have not read Ugh, i just don't know what the heck to read okay i think i'm gonna read a book that my dad recommended to me it's long but I'm like in the mood for a serious book anyways. It's called The Frozen River and it's historical fiction. Anytime I start reading a new author that I haven't read before, I worry that it's going to be like hard for me to read. Like when books get a little bit too descriptive, there's just some, the way that some authors write, I have a hard time like focusing on it. I'm very particular about the way that authors write and whether or not I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh fuck, there's a map. Oh, you know what? I never finished A Court of the Third One. I could also read that. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me on my little self-care day. I hope it inspired you, gave you some ideas, or maybe it just made you feel better on a day that you needed a little pick-me-up. Don't forget that I'm gonna put self-care list on my Instagram story um, so that you can screenshot it if you want. I'll have to make like a highlight to save it in so that if you're watching this some other day than when this comes out, you can still find it. It'll be somewhere on my profile, okay? Um, yeah, don't forget to like this, comment, let me know what you thought, let me know if you have any video recommendations or anything you want me to talk about. And I will see you guys next weekend. Thank you, and I love you, and good night.